From defying Dana White's opinion on female fighters, to having her world turn upside down after UFC 193, Ronda Rousey was undoubtedly a pioneer of women's MMA. But her downfall's been faster than her rise, because unlike her fall, it took her years to get to the top. Her early days in MMA saw her rise to the top of the sport and become one of its most dominant and recognizable stars. Rousey began her MMA career in 2010, fighting for the amateur MMA promotion Tough Enough, and she quickly gained attention for her judo background, having won a bronze medal at the 2008 Olympics in Beijing. Her grappling skills, combined with her striking ability, made her a formidable opponent in the cage. And then came the King of the Cage promotion. In 2011, Rousey made her professional debut in it. She won her first three fights via armbar submission in the first round, showing her dominance on the ground. This caught the attention of Strike Force, one of the top MMA promotions at the time. Rousey signed with Strike Force in 2011 and made her debut against Sarah Delalio. She won the fight in the first round by armbar submission, continuing her streak of first round finishes. And for the next fight, Rousey was set for the bantamweight title against Misha Tate. In a highly anticipated matchup, she won the fight by armbar submission in the first round, becoming the new champion. As you can see, she loves her armbar submissions. Rousey defended her Strike Force title one more time against Sarah Kaufman, winning the fight by yet another armbar submission in the first round. Her dominance in strike force caught the attention of the UFC, which had recently opened up a women's bantamweight division. But before we can jump into that, let's talk about women and Dana White's comments regarding their participation in the UFC. The president of the UFC initially had reservations about women's MMA and the idea of women competing in his league. He famously said in a 2011 interview that women would never fight in the UFC, stating never, never. When asked about the possibility. However, White's stance on women's MMA began to change in 2012 when he was introduced to Ronda Rousey. White was impressed by Rousey's fighting style and personality and saw the potential for her to become a star in the UFC. It makes for a strong case for what I said in the beginning about Rousey being a pioneer for women's MMA. In November of 2012, White announced that the UFC would be creating a women's bantamweight division with Rousey as the inaugural champion. This decision was met with some skepticism from fans fans and media, but White was confident that women's MMA could be successful in the UFC. As Rousey continued to dominate in the UFC, White's initial views further disintegrated on their own. Speaking of her performance though, there's a reason why she's called Rowdy. Ronda's success after getting into the UFC was nothing short of remarkable. She quickly established herself as one of the most dominant fighters in the sport. I mean, winning your first six fights in the UFC is no joke. And in addition, defending your bantamweight title six times times in a row, just wow. But what made her so effective in the cage was her incredible grappling ability, particularly her signature armbar submission. Rousey's judo background allowed her to take opponents down with ease and control them on the ground. Once on the ground, she was a master at using her leverage and technique to secure armbar submissions. And believe it or not, all six of her UFC victories came by way of armbar submission, with most of them coming in the first round, which again is another remarkable achievement on its own. And of course, her armbar submissions were not only effective, but they also became a defining characteristic of her fighting style. Fans would often cheer when she would secure an armbar, and opponents knew they were in trouble once Rousey had their arm in her grasp. Her dominance in the UFC also helped propel her to superstardom outside of the cage. Rousey became a household name and one of the most recognizable athletes in the world. But as they say, all good things must come to an end, except in her case, the the end was a little too brutal. You see, the thing with the arm collector was that she was so good that people started to expect that she'd never lose, especially given that she basically started off an entirely new division in the UFC for women, something that had never happened before. So she was put on this pedestal by the fans, and of course, winning 12 matches in a row will do that to you. But unless you're ready for the worst, things will fall really quick for you. And so is the case with our beloved. November 14, 2015 was a pivotal moment in Rousey's career, as she suffered her first professional loss to Holly Holm at UFC 193. Prior to that, she was widely considered to be one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, and in addition to her 12-match streak, she had actually not lost any match to date. However, Holm proved to be a formidable opponent, utilizing her striking skills to keep Rousey at bay and avoid her takedown attempts. In the second round, Holm landed a devastating head kick that sent Rousey crashing 
according to the canvas and ended the fight. The loss was a major setback for her, both personally and professionally. It shattered her aura of invincibility and sent shockwaves throughout the MMA world. It was also a reminder that no fighter is unbeatable and that you can expect anything in the octagon. After the loss, Rousey took a break from fighting and didn't return to the octagon for over a year. And that's fine given how big a loss, in the greater scheme of things, this was for her. But even after returning, things didn't look that great. She returned next year with the hopes that she'll be able to reclaim her bantamweight title from Amanda Nunes at UFC 207. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Instead, Nunes defeated her in just 48 seconds. You know, I, I really trained very hard. I'm a dedicated fighter, and I have my team behind me. These guys right here, Conor, Roger, D. Thomas, Mike Brown, Kami, all those guys in the gym, like, making me like amazing fighter. Unbelievable how America top. Yup that quick. Nunez, who was the reigning bantamweight champion, came out aggressive from the start and took full control of the fight. Her quick punches and heavy shots resulted in a TKO for Rousey, who was unable to mount any offense, ultimately leading to the referee stopping the fight. The loss was a devastating blow for Rousey, who'd worked hard to overcome her previous defeat to Holly Holm. It was clear that she was struggling beyond measure and not just physically in the arena, but also mentally. This was also a reason why she had to take a year-long break break before returning. After the fight, Rousey took another extended break from MMA, but then she eventually announced her retirement from the sport in 2018. As sad as that may be, she still didn't give up physical exertion. What I mean is that even though she retired from MMA, another sporting career was waiting for her, because after retiring from MMA, Ronda Rousey made a surprising transition to the world of professional wrestling, signing with the WWE in 2018. Despite being a newcomer to the sport, Rousey quickly became a a star in the WWE and had a lot of success there. With that said, it is still unlikely that Rousey will ever be as successful as she was in MMA. Uh, no, actually, we were expecting that she might come out and just do something flying at me right away. And uh, my originally thought I was going to check left hook, but I just caught her instead. And I was actually working on that behind the arm arm bar, not from that angle, but hey, it works. <laughs> well, it's got to be very exciting for your mom and very exciting for you to see your hard work. While wrestling is certainly a physically demanding and highly entertaining sport, it doesn't carry the same level of respect as the MMA. It's more of a show than raw strategic performance, which is fine, but it's just not the same as UFC. In the UFC, Rousey was able to achieve a level of dominance that few fighters have ever reached. But in WWE, she was just one of many talented performers. So there you have it, the horrifying downfall of Ronda Rousey.